Hi guys, you are welcome to my channel where we discuss love, faith and everything in between. Today, I want to talk about how to be happy every day. Let's get it started. yes guys you are welcome back to my channel so please like share and also remember to subscribe and drop your comments at the comment section oh is someone in a bad mood today everybody needs happiness there's nobody who get up and say i don't want to be happy it means that happiness is very very important but there are so many challenges that always seek and fights to take away your happiness. First of all, you need to decide to be happy. It's a choice. Yes, it's a decision that you have to make. You have to decide to be happy. The truth is that so many things will come your way, which will make you very, very sad. And most times you will not even want to be comforted. But you have to know that it is a decision. It is a choice that you have to make. Jesus says something, John 16 verse 33, he says that I have overcome the world. He said, be of good cheer. You see, he says what? Be of good cheer. He said, I have overcome the world. He knows that in the world, he even told us there will be so many challenges. But he said, be of good cheer. You need to find things that will make you happy. And the first thing that will make you happy is the word of God. So. You need to decide first of all, I want to be happy. Just tell yourself, I need to be happy. David used to speak to his soul. So speak to your soul. You must be happy. Yes, you must be happy. Someone said, you must be rich. Tell yourself, you must be happy. So how will you be happy every day? You need to decide to be happy. Yes, because you have to create some space in your mind to accept the fact that you need to be happy it's an issue of the mind if you don't accept it in your mind it cannot happen garbage in garbage out what you input in is what you will bring out jesus said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so you need to accept first of all that i want to be happy it's a choice that you make now if you decide that you want to be happy it's a good start so this is what you need to do now let's read a scripture today i am taking you to sunday school mm, let's read the scripture you need to allow your mind to think from god's perspective god says i know the thought i think towards you thought of good not of evil to get you an expected end or to bring you the the end you've always been expecting yes so God has good thoughts for you. And he said, think on them. Yes, if you think on your challenges, you will have problems. If you think on your challenges, you will be sad. That's why Jesus says that how many of you that worry, if worrying can increase your stature, that you are still going to worry. Because he said none of you, after thinking, can do anything to your stature. If you are short, you will be short. Being short is cute. If you are tall, you will be tall being tall is also cute so whatever you are thinking worrying yourself so much cannot change it you actually worry grow old have like be depressed but god says no the bible says that cast your burdens upon god for he cares for you first peter 5 verse 7 he said cast all your cares upon him it's as simple as cast it upon him you remember in the midst of storm in the sea when the disciples were all afraid jesus was sleeping in the midst of storm god expects us to sleep it doesn't mean challenges will not come no but he expects us to take it easy you see the bible said weeping may endure for a night but joy coming in the morning i'm not saying challenges will not come but don't let yourself be overwhelmed by it the bible says that 
if there be any virtue, if there be any praise. He said, if there's anything worthy of your thoughts, worthy of your attention, he said, think on these things. God wants you to think on what will not consume you. I'm not saying the challenges when they come, don't allow yourself to express emotions. Even Jesus wept. But I'm saying that the Bible made mention of um, David. If you read 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, the Bible says that David, after he cried, eh, some issues happened. They, they, could, like, they seized their camp, took away his wives and children. And the Bible said that David wept bitterly. And after that, the Bible said he encouraged himself in the Lord. You need to learn to strengthen yourself. The Bible said that be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Rest in the power of God. So the Ephesians, hey, the Philippians 4 verse 8 we just read. He said, after you think on this thing, look at the verse 9. He said, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. He said, do and the God of peace shall be with you. Let's look at Philippians 4. He said, finally, brethren. He says that whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are live, lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be anything. He said, think on these things. God is saying what? Keep your mind on these things. And what is that? There's no something that is more um, virtuous than God's word. There's nothing lovely than God's word. There is nothing good than God's word. The Bible says what? The word of God is good. It's holy. And he said whatsoever things are lovely. God is love. You should think on the word of God. That's why the Bible says that set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. He said do not be conformed to the things of this world but be uh, transformed by the renewing of your mind thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you so if you keep your mind stayed on god's word you'll be in perfect peace shalom shalom the peace of god you see the peace of god will shine upon you jesus says that peace i live with you my peace i give to you he said not as the world gives but he gives you his peace the peace of god that makes us sleep in the midst of the storm that same peace of god that made daniel to sleep in the lion's den and relax that same peace of god that made shadrach meshach and abednego be in the fire and not be afraid i'm not saying it's easy don't get me wrong but choose where there is safety those that abide in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. So what is the next thing that you need to do to be happy every day? It's to be appreciative of the little things that you have. Be appreciative of the little things you have. Learn to count your blessings. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Like, learn to be appreciative be happy for every milestone you make in your life be happy for anything you have done like the successes you've chalked be happy for them be happy with the little things the bible says that he that is faithful with little will be faithful with much don't wait till you get g wagon before you are grateful like be happy happy yourself like sometimes play music like play edifying songs sometimes play music it can be odorium, mm? it can be love songs, but I'm not saying not profane, but things that can ginger you up. Mm? Even if you, you and your girlfriend, boyfriend, enjoy yourself, like learn to be happy, but don't go overboard as the occasion to send. Like don't just go overboard because just be guided. The Bible says where the spirit of God is, there's liberty. Be free. The Bible said that so that your mind is not corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Christianity is simple. Paul said, don't deviate your mind. Don't make Christianity complex. You see, some of the Galatian church, they wanted to live by the law. Trying, some people want to try all their best. Man, what man have always known is fighting. 
like they, they say no pain no gain hey but you don't need to suffer eh jesus has suffered for you the bible says that they that have ceased from their own works have entered into the rest of god even as god also rested on the seed day rest the bible said that come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden he said i will give you rest work smart don't work hard work with wisdom don't overwork yourself sometimes you can be just going every day nine to five nine to five you don't even have time for your bible what will give you refuge see if nine to five can help you uh, you would have built some castle in the air literally not a refrigerative kind of something you would have built castle in the air mm -hmm. if that makes sense anyway but i want you to know that not the bible says that except the lord build the house they labor in vain that built it so take things easy on yourself i'm not saying don't chase things like don't do what your dream or your heart's desire is that's not what i'm saying the bible says that delight yourself in the lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart so learn to be appreciative be optimistic about life don't be a pessimistic person be optimistic believe that things will get better be hopeful the bible says that even a tree has hope that when it's cut down it will rise again how much more you christ in you the hope of glory if you've not given your life to christ kindly do for jesus loves you for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that you will be saved he loves you with passion jesus loves you with a love that cannot be measured thank you i believe you've learned how to be happy every day be appreciative of the things you have think on the things that will inspire you things that will ginger you up learn to enjoy yourself the bible says that rejoice evermore i say rejoice joy is in the holy ghost the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink only but in love in righteousness and joy in the holy ghost be full of joy ask the holy spirit to even show you things that will make you happy god loves you the minute details of your life god is interested he said even the hairs of our head have been counted god says you are his delight he loves you so also love yourself the bible said no man ever hated his own self let again pamper yourself yourself happy okay well i don't know how to put it again but you must be happy <laughs> you must be happy thank you so much you can see i want you to see all the expression that happiness brings so be happy happy for me happy for yourself happy for everybody above all happy for yourself i love you Bye bye. I'll catch you again. Shit. Welcome. That way. This way. I'm out of here.